Hello and welcome to another fly tying episode with Stuart Foxall. Today he is tying an egg sucking stinger leech. So we're starting off with a black bunny zonker strip and we're going to take a sharp needle to pierce through the skin. We're going to do this in two stages. First we need to make a hole around the middle of the zonker strip. Then we need to make a second hole towards the back of the strip. This will allow us to thread through some backing which will hold the hook at the back of the fly and run through and connect to the shank at the front of the fly. To do this we thread through the middle of the wing from underneath the skin. Backing then runs through the wing before going back down through the top of the skin at the back of the zonker strip. From here you can attach your single stinger hook just like a loop to loop connection between lines. And then we can take the very tail section of the zonker strip and tie it down to the single stinger hook. So we're just folding back some of the fibers on the zonker strip to find which part we want to tie onto the hook. Then we're going to start by winding some thread onto the hook. This can be a little bit tricky with the zonker wing hanging from the eye. Just take your time to make sure everything is nice and secure. A little bit of super glue can help to make sure everything stays where it needs to. So carefully work the zonka strip up the thread so that you can attach it to the hook. Make a few good tight turns. And when you're happy, to finish off this section, we're going to do a few whip finishes to lock it into place. And when you're happy, trim away the thread. With this stage finished, we're going to take it out of the vise and move on to our articulated shank. This one's been pre-threaded with a plastic bead that's going to replicate our egg. Next we're going to add our thread to the shank and we're just going to work it up a little bit just so that we have a nice base to tie on. Next we're going to take our zonka wing that's already been pre-rigged with the hook and we're going to tie in the backing to the articulated shank. We can measure for length by putting the end of the zonka strip up to the egg. This will give us our measurement for where we're going to tie in the backing to the body. Make sure you get plenty of turns to make sure everything is nice and secure and when you're happy we can use a little bit of super glue to lock everything into place. Just for extra security we can double back the backing which will also form a bit of a body for this fly. And when you're happy, trim away the waist. Next we're going to take a dubbing mix of purple, pink and blue and we're going to spread this all the way up the body. You'll notice that we used a little at the back and got heavier as we got towards the front of the fly. This makes a nice taper on the body. And 
Next, we're going to take our zonker strip and tie it into the front of the fly. This will complete the connection between the two. Nice tight turns, and then we'll trim away the waist. Make a few more turns just to make sure everything is nice and secure. Next, we're going to add some holographic flash. You can take a couple of strands and fold them in half, then tie them in. From here, we can cut through the loops, which will give us two different lengths of strands on the fly. Next, we're going to take some more flash materials. This one is like a crinkle flash, and I think they call it Predator Wrap. It's quite a flexible fiber with some flash materials in it, and it moves very well with the fly. Next, we're going to take some blue ostrich or rear hackle fibers, and we're going to spread these all the way around the fly. Next, we're going to add a blue slappen or cock hackle and make a fair few turns at the front of the fly. When you're happy with the hackle fiber content, tie it off and trim away the waist. You want to make sure that you're overlapping with your thread at this point so it doesn't build up too big a head. We can secure these materials in place with a little bit of super glue. When you're happy with the result, we can finish off with a few whip finishes just for extra security. And when you're happy, cut away the thread.
we're just going to show you a few different angles to show how this is rigged. So there you have it, that's the egg sucking stinger leech. If you like this fly, don't forget to like and comment down below and tell us what you'd like to see next. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel for updates when new videos go live. Tight lines.